I have wanted to purchase this eel for so long. It is one of the most expensive, vibrant, and exotic eels in the entire world. You're about to witness one of the best purchases I have ever made in the entire lifetime of the Fish Guy Chris channel. And stay tuned until the end to experience the entire epicness that this eel will bring and which saltwater pond slash aquarium I will be adding it to. Let's get into it. Today is the day. It is a very happy day, but it is also a slightly sad day. You know why? Because Mr. Teslata Eel here, my favorite eel I've ever owned. I love this guy. He is being dethroned today. Wow, that is a lot to take in. I know everyone sit back, watch this video, take it in. Teslata is being dethroned today. Talk about an exciting freaking video. Exciting video. I've wanted this eel my whole life. Here we go, baby. I'm pumped. I want to get this thing to like seven feet long. That's my goal. So the Tesla is gonna be dethroned today as my favorite eel. He's already coming out. We gotta show him some love. As you guys know, I got this eel when he was super small. He was just a little tiny, eeny weeny pencil looking guy. And now he's grown up to be an absolute savage over the course of the last couple months. Eats like a beast and he holds his own even with that big emperor snapper in there. I absolutely love this eel. Yes, yes, we're getting an epic eel today. But this is my first love. He stole my heart in the beginning. So this is kind of like, you know, he'll be my side piece and then you know, the banana eel, that's my main, you know? It is what it is, but we st I still love him. I still love him from the bottom of my heart. So I'm not really too sure how big the eel we're gonna be getting today is. So it may be going in this pond. I'm a little nervous about that because this Emperor Snapper, or it may be going in the shark pond with really nothing inside of it, no fish that are gonna eat him. So it's a toss up. Ne nevertheless, we still gotta show some love to our boy here because if he does go in here, I want everything to be full so they don't wanna mess with our prized possession, guys. I just spent some money on this freaking eel. I'm so uh, I'm actually really pumped guys. Like, I'm excited. So let's stuff this snapper until he wants to vomit because I don't want him He ate my golden head eel my boy He ate him because he thought he was food that cannot happen to my banana eel I'll break my heart now before we do jump right into it Here's a quick word from our sponsor today who helped make this video a reality I literally get one of these saltwater fishing magazines every week in the mail and I always think to myself This would be so much better on my phone now, thankfully, our sponsor today, Readly, has the solution. Readly is a digital magazine subscription service that grants users unlimited access to over 6,000 national and international titles conveniently located in one place. Their service allows users like me and you to browse through high quality titles, both up to date and archived editions, as well as numerous magazines for every hobby. And one of my favorite parts is no signal, no problem. Readly allows you to actually download magazines for offline reading, which I absolutely absolutely love. It's great for me because when I'm out on the boat fishing or even at the beach and I don't have signal, I still have Readly on my phone. I also absolutely love that it is paper free so it is entirely eco-friendly and you don't need to go around wasting all that paper on magazines when it's all in the palm of your hand on your phone. Now you guys can get Readly for two months free and you can cancel at any time. All you gotta do is click the link in my description or the pinned comment. So go support eco-friendly reading and get your two months free by clicking the link down below. Support Readly, support Fish guy Chris. Now let's get back on video. So let's get this guy as much food and then we're gonna show some love to our eel here who's literally coming to the surface to eat. Oh my god, this Emperor Snapper. See, that's what I'm talking about. The aggression on this fish. I'm so close to just saying, you know what, let's just get this guy in the saltwater pond because he is an actual psycho. I'm scared to hand feed him because he, uh, he's got those big teeth. They don't call him a snapper for no reason. And uh, he will take my finger off. Whoa, see how fast he is, dude? It's it's really scares me, dude. It scares me, but he eats and eats and eats until he explodes. And you know, I love him for it. I absolutely love him for it. Now our boy, Tesla to Eel, I'm gonna try to get him to come up to the surface to feed right from our hand because I love him. And uh, the Emperor Snapper still is being super greedy. Look at this eel. Look how beautiful that eel is. He's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous eel. Love him, guys. Love him. That's Elon Musk, the Tesla eel. My boy Elon is an absolute savage, but he's gonna be number two from now on, which is okay, it's okay. If you're not first, you're last, but still, that's a solid eel. And then Mr. Clown Grouper here is really, oh, he's getting so comfortable. He's getting so comfortable. I love him. He hand feeds now. He actually eats like a beast. And does the Tesla want another one? I'll give him a little skinny piece. Try to give the Tesla another piece here. Oh, he got it. Let's go. That's my boy. Guys, here she is. Ooh, I'm so excited, dude. This is the first time in a while I've been this pumped, guys. I am so excited. 
Oh, you made it. Now cross your fingers that it's actually alive in here. Now, I'm super excited, but I, but I gotta give a huge shout out to Trin Fish and Corals. They absolutely hooked it up. They saw my video that I wanted a banana more at eel. They messaged me on Instagram. They even sent me an email to get my attention because I because I haven't checked my Instagram in a while. And they said they could get me a beautiful banana more at eel. They said they were super rare and really hard to get, which I obviously knew was true because I never see them in the stores. I never see them online in stock. So I'm so thankful the Trin Fish and Corals for hooking it up. You guys can go check them out. They have a Facebook page, they have a store, they have a website. I'm sure if you guys message them, they can probably get you whatever you want. They got me a banana more eel. So shout out to those guys over there at Trin. You guys are awesome. Now the first thing they did was they sent me this beautiful video. I got the pick of the litter. I got the first pick of all these banana more eels. Look at all these guys in the little pond. This guy, he said they're all from South Africa and they're absolutely beautiful eels. But I got the pick of the litter and I obviously got the brightest, most neon, most popsicle looking ah, banana more eel. Guys, I'm pumped. I feel like I could box somebody right now about this eel. I'm pumped. If you're pumped, let me know by dropping a like on this video. I'm stoked. So obviously looking at that video got me super excited. I knew I was gonna have to spend a lot of money on this fish. I don't usually spend tons of money, but I did it for you guys. I know you guys like to see cool stuff and it'll give you a reason to come back to more videos to, to witness this awesome eel grow and eat and just be a beast. So I was super excited when I got that video, picked him out and he said, you know what? I'll get it to you in a couple days. And here we are with our box. So here we go guys. You know, it was really cool because I got to see the whole process of them actually bagging it up. They took, they did a live stream on Facebook over on their Facebook page, Trend Fish and Corals. They did a live, a live stream over there actually bagging him up. It was really cool to watch. I saw a bunch of comments saying, oh my God, Fish Guy Chris. So some of you guys knew what was coming. And here we go. The moment of truth. I haven't seen him. Obviously this box is completely enclosed. I haven't seen him. I'm super nervous because, um, because he's been in the box since this morning. I haven't opened him or anything. I actually had to run to the airport for my next video which is getting another awesome fish that's gonna blow your guys' mind. I'm getting two back-to-back -back insane fish for the channel, guys. This is insane, and then the next video I post is even crazier. I had to go to the airport to pick him up, so stay tuned for that one. But he's been in the box for a couple hours at my house. Here we go, guys. Super nervous. Is everyone nervous? Anyone else super nervous, guys? Okay, here we go. Here we go. The tension is building so hard. I don't know where I'm gonna put this guy. So nervous! You guys know, if you're an OG, you know I've been talking about this eel for probably three years. Like, actually, I'm freaking fired up. So we're gonna do this first. We're gonna see him in the bag, and then we're gonna look at him in the bag at first, and then we're gonna dump him into the container so we can, we can actually get a really good look at him to see how just how colorful and poppy this guy is because I picked the most electric eel that I saw. Oh my God, I see him. Oh my God, I see him in there. Oh my God, he's a freaking neon green glow stick, dude. Neon yellow. Okay. Oh, oh, oh look at him in there. Okay, he's double bagged, he's double bagged. So let, let's get one bag out so you guys can get a better look at him. Holy cow, this is a dream come true, holy cow. Okay, yeah, so he's double bagged. Let's get this bag out. Look at that, even through two bags, he's literally a freaking glow stick. Here we go. Oh, let's go, look how sick he is. He's bright yellow, oh my God. Holy cow, the first time I've ever seen this, this eel in person. This is insane. Look at that. He's so yellow. He's so yellow. I'm so happy. Let's go. Nice and squared away. Let's get a good look at this guy. Now, if you guys are pumped, this guy needs an epic name, okay? We have Elon Musk, the Tesla eel, and now this guy is a banana mora eel, and he needs an epic name. I might just name him Nanners. Like, I think we just name him Nan Nanners, dude. Nanners the Moray Eel, but let me know if you have any name suggestions. Get creative. Let me know down in the comments. Wow, he was actually triple bagged. So that wasn't even his full color. Whoa, holy cow. That is so freaking cool. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna put him in this white bucket for acclimation. And look, just look at this guy. Okay, he's not as big as I thought. He was, he's definitely smaller. He's probably just the same size as my Tesla eel, like exactly the same size, which is actually pretty good. Let's just put him in here, put him in his, uh, in his bucket here for acclimation. Oh my God, yeah, he's a little dude. He's just a little baby. The little baby, we're gonna watch him grow really nice. Okay, here he goes. Into the bucket. Here he goes. Oh my God. Let's go. Look at that. He's pissed. 
He is super pissed off. He might bite me right here, but it's okay. He's just a little banana. Now, if you guys see in the video that you saw earlier, I picked the one all the way on the far left, the one that was the most neon. He does have a couple of those black spots, which is really, really cool, but I wanted to get the one that was most bright yellow. As you can see in the video, a lot of them are kind of pale, and I wanted the one that's gonna be electric yellow. So I got the one all the way on the far left. He didn't have a lot of black spots, but he has the most yellow, so I think it's definitely a win. Now, this little dude, who is about probably a foot, little over a foot, he was over $1,000 I spent on this eel here. So I'm super excited to put him in the pond. This is just the beginning. Him being in the bucket isn't even his full glory. So once we get him acclimated, we can put him in the tank and he's gonna look so cool in there. Now I just gotta decide which pond I should really put him in because I am extremely nervous about this eel. Now all fish, but especially fish that are this expensive, you need to take super, super precautions when adding them to aquariums. Their waters have to match up perfectly. You need to acclimate them for about 30 minutes and then you put them in the aquarium. Now let's get this guy ready to roll and let's get him in the aquarium. I'm gonna put him in the shark pond because I'm scared of that emperor snapper. And I think I'm gonna make this pond right here, the shark pond, I'm just gonna make it all rare fish. Anything rare goes in here. I mean, right now, this fish and then the next fish I'm getting, both two super rare things. So this pond is gonna be stacked coming soon. Okay, I'm a little nervous here, but I'm gonna try to grab him. Look at this eel. Oh my God, he's gorgeous. Look at that. That's insane. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. This is a very chill eel, guys. He doesn't really, he's not like super freaked out. Look how gorgeous. All right, let's get this guy in the aquarium. All right, guys, it's time to put him in. I'm gonna use a net here, and we're gonna see him really, really cool against this net, this black net. We're gonna see how poppy this yellow is. He is insanely gorgeous, dude. Prettiest eel I've ever seen in the history of owning eels. He's gorgeous, guys. Come on, little man, get in here. Okay, here we go, here we go. My official Banana Moray Eel is here. Here he goes. Look at how gorgeous that thing is. Oh my God, he's bright yellow, right to the rocks. Right what I wanted him to do. That is an insane coloring of an eel. Look how gorgeous he is. He's so freaking beautiful. He's looking at me like he wants to strike. He is not messing around today. He had a long flight in the airport. Long way to get home to his new aquarium here. And if he, as long, so long he's doing well in here, he will stay in here. But if I notice anything, and uh, I will plan accordingly if I notice anything going wrong, but we did a good job acclimating him and he is absolutely gorgeous in this pond. That is a bright yellow neon banana mora eel and I've never been so stoked about getting an eel before in my life. I cannot wait to get this guy super big. Now guys, this is like a huge milestone for me. I've got, I never usually get fish that I've really wanted like for a long time and because they're, they're super rare and this is one of those rare occasions where you just absolutely fall in love with an animal and I absolutely love this banana eel. Like I am head over heels. Nanners, I love you nanners. Listen, I'm gonna show you this video in a couple years. When you see how big, when, I, when you've gotten older, I'll show you this video. Be like, Nanners, that's you. So uh, right now his name's Nanners, but comment down below the most badass epic name in the entire world and drop a like to help me out because I spent a lot of money on this eel today. And uh, hitting the like button is the best way to show your love, show your support, help this, help this video get out there. And uh, you know, minimize the damage of the uh, amount of money I spent on this guy. All in all, I'm super pumped. Now guys, remember, you can always come back to my channel. We're gonna be doing some epic feedings with this guy, epic showcases with him, and we're gonna watch him grow exponentially over the next coming weeks, months. It's gonna be awesome. I'm super pumped. Stay tuned, drop a like for me, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. What an epic day. And I have another box unbox, which is kind of crazy. So, peace.